And we're back with Passwood. I'm still on Roswell's route. So let's just get back to it and hopefully the neighbor's dogs will stay quiet for a while. When morning came, I had an odd sense of peace. Not that I had slept well, but something told me that Roswell had avoided his fate. I had a sick feeling in my stomach. Something was wrong. I felt ill, but I couldn't place as to why. Ugh, may as well get up. I had a shower, got dressed and checked my phone. No new messages, no updates from any of my apps. I made my way downstairs. Seems as though I was the first one to arrive, too. Ugh. Why didn't I stay in bed? I sat down, face buried in my hands as I tried to wake up. Ugh. <laughs> I'm having a rough morning. You have no idea. Oh, a rough night as well? I feel like something woke me up last night. But no idea what. Oh? Did something go bump in the night? Orlando was worried about ghosts before he went to bed. Well, I haven't seen him yet. There might have been some sort of noise. It seemed very quiet last night, though. Well, I've noticed a lot of the rooms seem to be naturally soundproofed. Uh, I'm not sure how or why, but just what I've noticed. That would probably explain the lack of sound. Still, probably not the case if you heard something outside of your room loud enough to wake you. That, or maybe your room isn't soundproofed? I don't remember hearing anything last night, at least. Maybe I just dreamt it. Or sat down at the table, pulling out his phone and using the camera to fix his mane. He'd always been very conscious of his looks, but for how early it still was, this was ridiculous. It made me feel a little self-conscious. At least I'd showered and made an effort look somewhat presentable. By comparison, though... Morning. Dean, despite the cheery greeting, punctuated with a loud, unrestrained yawn immediately afterward. Morning. Tyson, too, looked rough, but given how late he was up last night, it's no wonder he looked a mess. The fact the pair of them weren't at least, at least at each other's throats must have meant they were past the point of being coffee cranky and almost oblivious to one another. Not that I was complaining. You guys sleep well. Ah, no. Probably have to take a nap later. Yeah, my night was pretty terrible. Well, well that sucks. Well, I'll get the coffee going, I guess. Dean shuffled off, looking no better than Ty, but at least more functional. Oh, maybe I should suck up to Dean for some of that coffee. What's this? Tyson's considering being nice? Oi, you keep that up. I just skipped my morning workout. With a huff, Ty took a seat next to me and sank into it, folded his arms and settled in for the wait for coffee. Then Sal arrived, towel in hand. Morning. Looked like he's planning on going for a swim again. Morning swim? Mmm. Breakfast first. Are you going to be doing anything other than swimming while we're here? Or Jim waits after lunch. I felt Ty shift next to me. Sam wasn't overly keen with that idea, I gathered. Possibly struggling with the prospect of having to share the space he claimed as his. That sounds like a plan, Sal. Maybe I'll see you down there, or maybe Ty can keep you company. Ty elbowed me in the side, saying nothing. Maybe. Sal then went and sat down nearby, looking about the room, seemingly waiting. Soon after, Orlando and Dean entered at the same time, both from the kitchen. Well, guess what I have? Coffee! Dean took the chair next to me, sliding the coffee across to me before setting the rest of it off to the side. From the corner of my eye, I could see Ty snining off without wanting to directly ask Dean. Oh man, oh, that hits the spot. I poured Ty a cup and took my first sip. Glorious, invigorating, liquid ambrosia. Good morning, anyone hungry? <laughs> uh, sorry if you're on the Discord last night, you'll note about 
Grizz's or mango typo. I nearly did it myself then. <coughs> I'm going to leave this in just because it's funny. It's almost as bad as the mangoes with Leo. <coughs> Orlando didn't bother waiting for anyone to respond before laying food out on the table. Hang on. Orlando looked around the table with a frown, visibly counting us off on his fingers. When I looked about the table, I realised what was wrong. Where's Roswell? Despite the feeling I'd woken up with, a sudden pit in my stomach made me stand, stand suddenly, startling both Dean and Ty. He was fine, right? He should have been out collecting mushrooms. He should be safe. I had to be sure. I'd run from the dining room all the way here having left my coffee behind. Worry was propelling me forward, which surprisingly was doing a better job of waking me up than the coffee was. Hey! Ty had run after me, supposedly faster than all the others, or at least the only one willing to follow. The hell, Dave? What's gotten into you? I looked around, but... Nothing. Everything was how we left it when Roswell said he was leaving. Just... give me a sec. No! Start talking! This place smells funny enough as it is. I was about to round the corner of a bookshelf before I froze. Funny how? Dude, I don't know. Dusty, I guess. Like old things. I braced myself and threw my head around the corner, expecting to see a corpse. It's too early for this shit. But there was nothing there. No Roswell, no blood, no heavy book on the floor. I looked around, but I couldn't see the book on high or on anything else for that matter. He's not here. Who, Roswell? Shit, I didn't realise you had that much of a boner for the guy. No, it's not. I thought maybe he'd been killed. Killed? You sure you're still not sleeping? No, no, just... I just thought... What? You gonna tell me you had a vision or something? Not you believe me if I did. You're right, I wouldn't. Still, he's not here. He hasn't been a weirdo yet. Yeah, I... Yeah, I guess so. We headed back to the dining room, Tyson grumbling to himself, muttering about freaking him out. Something about it being too early. My mind, on the other hand, was wondering where Roswell was. Maybe just in his bed? Did he leave early to do something? Did he make it back last night? I'll meet you in the dining room. Just going to go check his room? I didn't even bother waiting for his reply and took the stairs two at a time. Roswell's door was unlocked, but the room itself was empty. His bed was cold, so he hadn't slept in it. His bathroom was empty too, with no sign he'd used any part of it either. Maybe he didn't come home last night? Either way, there's nothing left for me here. There's no point sticking around when breakfast was on the table downstairs too. When I got back... Oh, I swear, it's going to be huge! Well, I guess that's good, but... But it's still a fit? Uh, oh, maybe. Well, I suppose we can just try until it fits, right? I looked around the room, and despite how things were coming across, no one was kicking up a fuss. Well, I mean, I'm sure you've worked with Bigger, right? Well, well, I don't mean to boast. If anything, it seemed as though their disagreement from the night before was a thing of the past. Despite how suggestive Dean was making his statements. The only reason I knew he was phrasing the way he was was because he watched me enter the room with the most sly smile you could imagine. Do... I want to know? I shot Sal a look to see if he was looking to lay into Dean, but just shot me a confused look back. Oh, you know, the usual sort of stuff. The usual, huh? Yeah, the usual. Okay, I'll bite. What's this huge thing anyway? Well, seems like there's a huge gourd in the greenhouse. Figure that, you know, could carve it up into a jack-o'-lantern or use it for pie or something. I'm not really into pumpkin all that much. But how could I pass up the chance to work with an ingredient like that? But then again, oh, so much pumpkin. Benson brought out more trays of food from the kitchen. Smaller scale than the first couple of days, almost as if adjusting the quantities to what people were likely to eat. We ate our fill and began filing out of the dining room. 
Hey, Dave, uh, wait up. Oh, hey, Dean, uh, what's up? Oh, not much. I had a question for you, actually. Oh, yeah? Uh, what is it? So, uh... What was the deal with you running off before? Huh? Tyson mentioned you were being weird about something. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I must have been half asleep or something. I thought Roswell might have died. Hmm. But, uh, he wasn't around. He must be out looking for mushrooms. Huh. Didn't think he'd be the type that'd do that. Or well, maybe I should ask him about it when I see him next. But, dead? Well, like I said, I must have been half asleep or remembering a nightmare I had last night. I shrugged, feeling it best not to get into it at the moment. There was no telling what I had really seen, after all. Well, if you need company in the night to keep the nightmares away, just let me know, all right? Points for trying, Dean. So what's on for your day, anyway? With Roswell out of the picture, and hopefully just out in the woods somewhere, there wasn't much more I could do without him. At least as far as finding clues about these medallions. Well, until I see Roswell and find out if he wants to do some more research... Nothing, I guess. So why? Well, how about give me a hand in the greenhouse, then? Could use an extra set of hands moving some soil around if we're going to be working with his pumpkin thing later. Oh, sure, I guess. Great, uh, follow me. This pumpkin, it's... It's not that big, is it? Well, it's big enough. Bigger than, like... Well, bigger than normal, that's for sure. Huh, neat. The greenhouse smelled fresh, the air pleasantly damp. So this is where you've been spending the past couple of days. Well, it's great, isn't it? I, uh... It's something, at least. You don't think so? Well, I guess, like... I don't get it. Well, all right. Well, I guess I'll have to show you how cool it can be. Wait, what? The next moment I've been dragged by the arm further in. Look, uh, see this? It's, uh... They appear to be something sprouting through loamy soil. Oh, isn't it great? Well, I don't know what they're using, but it sure as hell grows things fast. So, what, these are... flowers? Nah, this is just some field mustard. It grows pretty quick. Just wanted to make sure I could get something going while we were here. Well, I'll get to the roses after, I think. Or maybe start them today. Well, I think there's some seedlings around here already. I'll have to check. Well, that's sort of cool. So, just flowers, then. I mean, I thought you worked more with lumber and stuff. You could have said wood. Yeah, yeah. But you're right. I don't know, though. Something about growing sm smaller things feels more intimate. And before you go and get any ideas, think about what I'd be doing otherwise. Chopping down trees. I mean, I guess that's fine too, but I'm not a carpenter. Well, it feels just more worthwhile bringing something up from a seed, right? It was hard to place where exactly Dean's passions lay. I got the impression in the past that he was still trying to sort out where he fit in the world. Not to say he wasn't doing so with gusto, or oh, far from it. Well, I think, well, if that's what you enjoy, then no harm, no foul? You know, I think. Well, it's not hurting anyone. Who knows if you could live off it, though? Yeah. But hey, maybe you could, I don't know, be a florist? Or a florist? Yeah, uh, maybe. All right, let's get this soil moved and we can check out the pumpkin. Dean pointed out some bags of soil and we began hauling them around. It was a bit repetitive, but we got through it eventually. Uh, okay, hard part done. Time for the main event, though. Check it out. I didn't realise it was a pumpkin to begin with. To be honest, I didn't even realise it was there. Wait. That is a pumpkin? It looked more like a large orange tanker rather than something one could eat. Are you sure it's real? Oh, yeah. Now, that thing is real, all right. Might be as big as me, but trust me, it's the real deal. Dean patted it gently. Well, I don't know why it's here, but it's clearly stopped growing. May as well do something with it before it goes bad, right? 
I guess so. As I got closer to have a better look, Dean put his arm over my shoulder. You know, I really like showing you stuff like this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just... yeah. I felt him fidget and then heard soon after the sound of someone else in the greenhouse. Hey, Bear, have you seen Dave? Dean grumbled beside me, pulling his down behind the pile of bagged soil. Why is he here? You're about to totally make out with me. Oh, I suppose if we're quick, we can still do it if you want. Nice try, Dean. He poked his tongue out at me before standing up, calling back to Tyson. Yeah, yeah, he's in here with me. Hey, Tyson, uh, what's up? Do I want to know why you're behind a pile of dirt? Oh, uh... I shot Dean a look, who, for the briefest moment, gave me a hurried shake of his head. Uh, no reason. Uh, what brings you here, Ty? Well, that's something I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah? Didn't find one of those medals, did you? Nah. Actually, you come too. You might know something useful of this. Without another word, Ty started walking towards the exit. Dean and I looked at each other. He was curious and I was mostly just thankful they weren't in each other's throats. Tyson led us around the house to a spot just at the tree line. I followed his gaze upwards to where Hoss was sitting. Oh, hey, you can see Hoss from here. Yeah, yeah, not what I wanted to show you, though. While Dean tried to get Hoss's attention, I followed Ty to the base of a tree, where he started looking in the grass for something. It's around here somewhere. Hold on. Here, take a look. Wait, is that a bullet? Huh? Yeah. Ty held a bullet in his hand. It didn't look anything overly large, but... Doesn't look like the sort of ones that go to par shotgun. Just thought it's weird. Well, that you just found a bullet. Nah, look here. Someone's dug something up recently too. Don't know how big, but it shouldn't be too big, yeah? Hmm, maybe a shoebox, or something that size at least. I don't know much about guns. Wait, hold on, so... This was dug up recently... That's what it looked like to me. Don't know for sure, though. Dean was already on his hands and knees, running his hands through the soil. Oh, recent, yeah. Earlier in today, the dirt's already started to dry up again. A couple of days, by my guess. What, that puts us here when it happened? Day or two after we arrived? Or something like that. Who oh, dig up their gun when a bunch of guests arrive? Seems pretty sus to me. No kidding. They'd just forgotten they didn't want us finding it, maybe. Kind of irresponsible not keeping tabs on your gun, though. Not as if the place isn't big enough to just throw it in the room and forget about it. That's only a gun. Still, someone here has a gun. And unless this bullet was the only one, well, it's loaded. A twinge at the back of my mind made me flinch. Roswell getting killed. Did the person with the gun do it? I shook my head. That vision made it look like a bludgeoning. Plus, the gun would be noisier. Should we tell everyone? No. If anything happens, the less it know about the gun, the better. You two are the only ones that I've told about it. All right, well, so as long as it's not one of you with the gun, we should be all right. It could even be Benson if we came in everyone here. Ah, oh, makes sense. He's probably the most likely one to have it anyway. I don't think we've got a murder butler on our hands, though. It wasn't likely, at least. If he was out for our blood, there were plenty of times where he could have done it. Maybe it'd be too obvious if it were him, too. Oh, I don't think we should be too concerned. After all, if we go thinking the worst, we're going to be on edge the whole time. So if someone gets off, you're the killer, right? Hey, no, that's not what I meant. Yeah, I don't think Dean would kill anyone. I mean, well, I would. What? If I came down to it, yeah. Depends on the situation, I guess. Like, self-defence, yeah. I reckon you're fair game at that point. Would you go out of your way, though? Ah, probably not. Who knows, though? Seems like a lot of effort, but... I guess if I absolutely had to, I'd probably kill someone, sure. Really? I... Well, I would never. Not that I've been in a situation, but... What if Dave was in danger? Hmm... Well, that won't happen. Not while I'm around. 
I wonder if I could do it. What? Yeah, it just seems so unlikely to happen. I don't know if I could ever go through with it. I uh, think I might be a bit too delicate for prison. What, afraid you're going to drop the soap? Well, hey now, if that's all you're worried about, I can, uh, you know. We laughed it off too much for my relief. I didn't want these two going in each other's throats every single time stuff like this came up. I could go for lunch about now. Oh yeah, it's probably about that time anyway. Maybe for an early lunch? First lunch. Oh, how you eat, you're just going to get fat. What, so you're going to drag him to the gym instead of me? Uh, not even if he paid me. As they bickered back and forth without actually getting into a heated argument, we wandered back inside. Oh, hey guys. You are hungry already? Oh yeah, uh, something like that. Ah, oh, what's cooking? Oh, uh, nothing amazing. I made sandwiches again. I was planning on making something better for dinner. You know you don't have to do the cooking, right, Orlando? Like, this is a vacation, you know. Oh, I know. I just don't think I've got... Well, anything much up my sleeve to be useful otherwise. No one's asking me you to be useful. We have a butler. I wasn't expecting Ty to get in before I could. It seemed as though Dean wasn't expecting it either. Dude, just relax. If you want to cook? Fine. There's other shit you could do if you're bored. Sandwiches are in the kitchen, yeah? Without waiting for an answer, Ty was already off, wandering into the kitchen, hands buried in his pockets. Was... was he just being nice now? Oh yeah, something's up with that. I know, he's been like this ever since he rocked up to the greenhouse earlier. Guys, he's actually an alright guy, I've been trying to tell you this. But he's so abrasive. And scary. Oh, I could take him. I'm not going to put up with his attitude. I didn't realise their feelings for him ran this deep. Maybe it's because I'd already seen a different side of him and I wasn't seeing things as they did. I tried to get him to ease up and try to be friendly. Can't it just work both ways? I don't think it's fair you keep assuming the worst. He hasn't actually done anything to you guys. Uh, in a while, I guess. What, and you just think I'm supposed to give him another shot just because? People rarely change that much, Dave. Trust me. We haven't even been here a week. We still got the better part of the month together. And if this is how it's going to be, well, maybe I'll just hang out with him the whole time. What? If he's at least making the effort, Dean, you can too. Dean was grinding his teeth so hard I could hear it from where I stood. But with a huff, he just stormed past, bumping me deliberately as he left the dining room. Huh? Are you okay, Dave? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. For what it's worth, I, um, I'm willing to try, I think. It'd make things easier if we got along, that's for sure. So, I'll try. As long as he doesn't bully me around, I think we'll be okay. As long as you try, I'd be thankful. Just, uh, don't go poisoning his food, yeah? Oh, I would never, promise. We filed into the kitchen where Ty was chowing down on the sandwiches. I grabbed one for myself. Orlando did too, and we waited in relative silence for the next bit. I think I'm going to go hit the gym. You guys have fun with, uh, whatever. Go work off these sandwiches. That seems a bit excessive. You look good. Uh, I, uh, 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 thanks, I guess. Ty slunk off, the faintest of bashful smiles creeping off his face as he left. I think I'm going to clean up here. Only a bit, I promise, then. Maybe I'll go play some games? I might meet you there, then. I don't know. I might go and check up on Sal and see how he's doing in the pool. Oh, in that case, mind taking him some lunch? Oh, uh, yeah, he'll probably just swim all day otherwise. Thanks, uh, um, take this. He holds out a neat bundle of, presumably, sandwiches. Um, yeah, just uh, give him that. Uh, from me, please? I gotta ask Orlando. Wh wh what is it? Uh, do you... Orlando was suddenly looking flustered, not wanting to look at me. You don't have a crush on Sal, do you? No! Uh, no? I don't, I don't think so. Don't tell anyone, please. Well, I promise. But 
Sal. I mean, I didn't think you'd... Uh... Okay, no more of that. I just remembered I, uh, I have something very important I need to do. Right now. I'd never seen Orlando move so quickly, almost tripping as he scrambled to the door. I don't think he was crying. He sure was looking quite red. Sal, I brought lunch. I could see a shadow at the bottom of the pool as I approached when I called out. Dave, come to swim? Oh, uh, no, not right now. I just brought you lunch. Lunch? Oh, uh, that makes sense. Here, yeah, Orlando made it especially. He, uh, I guess was worried you'd forget. Sal pulled himself out of the pool and sat down on the edge, taking the sandwiches from me. How's the water today? Oh, it's fine. Same as every other day, so far. Sal started chowing down when I noticed something from the corner of my eye. Someone emerging from the woods. Roswell! Where? I was already moving, rushing over to Roswell as he approached the house. Roswell! What? I threw my arms around him, holding him close. Uh, uh, another hug? Regardless of whether I was right or wrong. You're alive! Um. Oh, yesterday. Where have you been? I checked your room in the library, but you weren't anywhere to be found. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, about that. Would you believe it? I got lost in the woods after you told me to leave. I oh, got so wrapped up in mushroom hunting I couldn't find my way back. Uh, yeah, part of that's my fault. I didn't really do anything to help guide you back, did I? Oh, I don't think that would have helped anyway. I got really far in. Sure, but how? Roswell then started explaining that he thought he could smell something strange out in the forest, that he thought it was truffles. He went ahead back when it started to get dark and got lost. Doing that, all he'd done is walked in a huge circle, ended up at the stream and tried camping there after it became too dark to see. Roswell's back. Oh, hello, Sal. Sal offered out one of the sandwiches Orlando had made for him to Roswell. It was gone the next moment, almost inhaled. Whoa, hungry much. Hey, I haven't eaten since you saw me last. I... Then Roswell just started coughing uncontrollably. It sounded chesty. That doesn't sound good. Are you sick? Oh, maybe I just caught something I was out in the cold last night. Oh, get inside. Get warm. Have tea. Right, warming up won't be a good way to burn it out of your system. At least it wouldn't hurt to try. Well, I need to get Orlando these mushrooms anyway. I think I found some good ones. Hopefully they taste all right. Are they all safe to eat? I hope so. I'm fairly confident I can identify the dangerous ones at least. Best not to touch anything you're uncertain of anyway. Uh, should we check? I'll double check them against books inside. There's bound to be something in there at least. Well, that can wait until after we've gotten you something for that cough, I think. I'll leave this to you, Dave. I'm going to go back. I'll meet you inside, maybe. Come on, Dave, let's head inside. I wouldn't mind getting a change of clothes, too. Roswell needed a shower anyway, and under the hot water just accomplished two things at once. Still, I wasn't convinced he was in the clear. After all, who would kill Roswell, of all people? And why? He didn't need to come with me, you know. Yeah, yeah, you just get warm. I heard Roswell grumble from the other side of the door. You know, the forest is much denser than I gave it credit for. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, at one stage I found a camp. Looked like it had been used recently, too. Huh, how strange. Are we on privately owned land? Well, I know the mansion itself is private land, but I don't know how much of the surrounding forest c covers it, too. Maybe some, maybe none at all. Huh. Feels strange having people, I guess, wandering around in your backyard. Given how dense the forest is, I guess, I don't know, hunters? Scouts? Did you find game out there or see any? Signs, sure. Didn't see any for real, though. Oh, I did find the shack, though. The shack? Oh, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I heard about a shack inside the woods where someone used to call home. I say used to, but... Suddenly Roswell was doubled over, almost coughing up his lungs. Whoa, are you okay? Maybe you should lay down. 
I, I, I'm fine, really. I help Roswell up and put him to bed. You just rest up. I'll go get you some tea. This is more comfortable than whatever it was that you slept on last night. Roswell whined but rolled over, almost aggressively hugging the plush bed cover. Hang tight, I'll be right back. I didn't even make it to the door, but I heard him quietly snoring in bed. Worst case scenario, I figured I'd make a cup of tea anyway, just in case it helped Roswell feel a little better. That cough was not doing his throat any favours. Oh, Hoss, Orlando, you're both here. Oh, oh yeah, I'm here, uh, prepping for dinner and all. Oh, hey Dave, you look almost as red as Orlando here. Yeah, I was uh, going to ask, do I want to know what's up with that? I'll tell you later. Long or short of it was... It's nothing, I was just daydreaming, I swear. Dave. Uh, uh, yeah? Why did you come to the kitchen? Oh, well, I figured I'd make Roswell some tea, he's got this cough. Oh, so I'll set him out him being back when he was here. Mentioned a cough too. Tea. Hmm, maybe I sure medicine would be better, but okay. If you're just looking to relieve the symptoms, I remember mother and father using black tea with lemon and honey. Well, is that all? Wouldn't hurt to add ginger too. Well, I don't think garlic would brew well, but I've heard that helps too. Is this some sort of homeopathic method or... Oh, not unless he's allergic to any of those ingredients, and this was just an allergic reaction. Or at least if you considered homeopathy sort of working like that. Either way, can make him some tea. Did anyone else want any? Oh, sure, I'll take some. I oh, may as well if you're making. Thanks, Orlando. Hang tight, shouldn't take too long. So, tell me more about Roswell. Hey, he doing okay? I guess so. Apparently spent the night out in the woods. No kidding, oh, that's terrible. Better than the alternative. The words were out of my mouth if I'd realised what I'd said. What, you mean like uh, in his own bed? Uh, no, wait, I mean, I don't really know what I was saying. Horst looked across to Orlando, who was too preoccupied making the tea. You know, I read something interesting this morning. The main point was that sometimes spirits commune with the living to forewarn them of things to come. Shamanistic stuff, you know. I don't think Roswell get a kick out of reading it, but... You wouldn't have enough had an experience like this recently, have you? Uh, no. No, of course not. Hmm. I feel like you're lying to me, but I can't disprove it. Oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter. You don't really strike me the type anyway. Still, the fact you think Roswell spending the night out in the woods is better than what he's facing otherwise. Almost if you think he's going to get killed in the middle of the night. Despite having Hoss having a good chuckle to himself, I paled, gulping. He had no idea just how right he was. Tea's ready. What's uh, so funny? Oh, just thinking about something I read. Uh, you wouldn't like it. I caught the wink Hoss gave me. How do you know? I'm sure I'd find it funny too. Oh, well, in that case... I was just telling Dave about this horror story about a mansion where ghosts... On second thought, I think I'm fine. Never mind. Uh, here's the tea anyway. Oh, thanks, Orlando. Oh, you're welcome. Hopefully that helps Roswell too. Oh, it smells good, that's for sure. I'll go take it to him while it's hot. Well, careful not to trip on the stairs, but do hurry. It's probably better for him while it's as hot as possible. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Roswell, are uh, you awake? Uh-huh. Hey, I uh, brought you tea. Mm-hmm. Oh, tea. Oh, okay. Before I even got to the bed, he's doubled over coughing. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it's my fault. I shouldn't have forced you out. You didn't force me outside, though. It's okay. I'll be okay. Eventually. Here, yeah, Orlando made it. Apparently this is what his parents used to give him. It, oh, it smells good, at least. Hopefully it does the trick. Careful, it's still quite hot. We sat on the bed, Roswell still mostly under the covers, his tusks clinking against the china as he sipped. It wasn't all that bad. Relaxing, for sure. Easy on the throat, too. Hey, Dave. Yeah? I, um, I think I want to apologise. I racked my mind as to what he'd want to apologise for, but nothing came to mind. I, um, 
I'm sorry I wasn't more thankful you saved my life. Wait, what? Oh, to be honest, being alone in the forest gave me a lot of time to just think about what you said. Oh, uh, don't worry about it, really. You said I was in danger, and then I was going to die. Just think about what would have happened if I did stay. I didn't want to tell him the vision of it was still vividly flickering in the back of my mind whenever the subject came up. Hey, hey, just what friends do, right? I don't want anything bad happening to you. I... I just... Whoa, hey, don't cry, it's alright. I'm sorry, I, I just... And in came the coffin again. Thankfully he'd mostly finished his tea, so spillage was almost non-existent. As soon as he'd managed to put his teacup down, he latched on, uncomfortably doubled over so his forehead was against my chest as he held on by my shoulders. Huh, so much for the tea helping, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, uh, my nose. Oh, oh uh, it's all right, I'll go put another one on or something. Maybe you should get some more rest, huh? Don't think you'll be missing much. Hey, I'll go down and take the mushrooms down to Orlando for you. Oh, okay, but don't move the mushrooms just yet. I, I still want to make sure they're okay. Oh, good point. Don't want anyone, well, anyone else getting sick. I laid Roswell back down and made sure he's covered properly. He felt his head and he's running into a little bit of a temperature, but it was hard to tell if that was because of the bed or tea, both, or neither. You might have a temperature. I'll check in later and make sure you're okay. Maybe someone else will know how to best deal with that. Yet again, all that greeted me was soft snoring. He must have been exhausted to fall asleep again straight away. I could smell him before I could see him heading towards the stairs as I was making my way back to the kitchen. Oh, hey Ty, just finished working out. Hmm, yeah. Why, that obvious? Well, I could smell you coming, it's, uh, well. Yeah, yeah, I know you like it though. Just because you say it doesn't mean it's true. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'm going to have a shower now. And probably kick back until food happens. Can't have you boning up over this musk at dinner. Ugh. Even if I did, I'm sure Dean would just find an excuse to make it about his natural charm working or something. Ah, I got a point. Oh, before I forget. Can confirm Roswell is not dead. But he has a nasty cough, though. Spent some last night in the woods. Fuck off. No kidding, huh? Well, at least this means you can stop being weird about it now. Either way, I'm going to grab that shower. I'll catch you later. Hey, wait a sec. What? I was wondering, like, instead of, like, you working out all the time, maybe we could do something together? Ah, oh, you're asking me out on a date? You're going to make Dean jealous. No, no, I just... You seem to be in the gym all the time. Well, I like it down there. Yeah, but you're not going to last a whole month down there doing the same thing. Come on, we can just chill and watch a movie or play games upstairs. It really bothers you that much? Well, yeah, a little bit. All right, all right. Movie sounds all right. Been a while since we've done that anyway. Ah, oh, fuck it. Invite everyone. We'll do it as a big group. Whoa, you sure? I'm not going to have you talk my ear off about how I'm not making friends. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, that's it. All right, fine. Deal. Now go shower. You stink. <laughs> You're lucky I don't drag you in and make you wash my back. And I'll catch you later, pup. Yeah, yeah. See you, Ty. Orlando said he had something special planned for dinner, right? There was still a ways to go for his time, though, but what to do? Oh, hey, Dean. What are you doing at the pool? Oh, hey, i uh, just taking a break from the greenhouse, but, uh... Oh, well, uh, why not swim, right? Swim or the hot tub? Well, honestly, both. Oh, I know I'm a bit on the stout side. I don't want to become a couch potato, though. Figure swimming is uh, at least a little more enjoyable than running. I can see that. You don't really strike me as the running type. Uh, yeah. Only time I'd run if, would be if my life depended on it. Well, don't let me stop you. I'm just going to chill here until it's dinner time. Hey, nothing stopping you from joining me in the hot tub later, you know. Dean jumped into the pool and started just paddling around watching me from the water. How's the water? It's, uh, it's colder than I thought. It's not like a bath, you know. Yeah, but damn, I'm probably shrinking. I wasn't ready for this. 
Well, good thing no one's going to judge you for it, I guess. Dean grumbled and kept paddling around, occasionally shooting me dirty looks. So this is where everyone's hiding. Dean's taking a break, I'm waiting for dinner. I just assumed Sal would be here too. Oh no, he has given Orlando a hand, actually. What, with dinner? Yeah, he sent me out here to gather everyone up, or at least give them the warning dinner isn't too far off. Early dinner, huh? Well, he did have something special planned after all. Honestly, I think he's just planning on making a whole bunch of pizza and making us watch a movie together. Yeah, not far off, but he is quite smitten at the moment. I looked into the pool and Dean was already out, slinking across the hot tub. Hey, Dean. Huh, so much for swimming, huh? Uh, dinner's soon, anyway. How uh, long do we have, anyway? Hopefully enough time to enjoy the tub. Hey, get back here. Or maybe, maybe just wait a sec. Tell you what, get ready for dinner and I'll join you in the tub after we've eaten. I have never seen Dean move as fast towards the shower. When it's time for dinner, rather than file into the dining room, we all gathered into the room we knew was the rec room. I checked in on Roswell on the way through, mentioned to get out of him that he wasn't all that hungry and mostly just tired. He also mentioned that Benson was coming by later to check up on him, so it was alright for the rest of us to do whatever without him. We're having dinner in here, right? That's right. Do I want to know why? Why can't we just do it because it's fun? Okay, okay, I get it, just, I don't know. Well, what's there to get? Dean was still damp from what I could tell, having clearly favoured getting to dinner on time rather than drying properly. Pizza, movie, and then after hot tub. Yes, this is happening sooner than I thought. I swear this has nothing to do with me, Ty. This is all Orlando. Well, all right, guess we're all getting buddy-buddy too. Oh, uh... I looked around and it seemed as though Sal had settled himself in a beanbag, with Dean milling around for one of his own. Ty bumped me on the shoulder, leaning in close to my ear, putting the hairs on the back of my neck on edge. Maybe we should find a spot to get cosy together. The words no sooner out of his mouth I noticed Dean staring daggers at him. Ty just picked a spot and pulled out his phone, Dean still trying to melt his target as if he had laser eyes. Well, this is a bit cosy, isn't it? You're telling me. I, I just thought we needed it, is all. Oh, sure, we need it. Oh, oh, you know how it is. Oh, boy, you're smitten all right. I've never seen you this bad. I... I don't know. Hey, no judgments here, Orlando. Just don't get go getting yourself hurt, all right? Hey, no, I still don't know. Well, I'm going to get out of the way. Need help getting dinner, or... No, I'll just go downstairs and get it later. No problem. It's not a bad idea. We are on vacation, after all. That's what I was thinking. Nothing beats just hanging out and around on a comfy beanbag with a good pizza, either. I'm guessing we get to decide on a movie, too, given how things are set up. Not yet. I was going to make sure everyone had food before we can go to the list together. Well, it seems like a decent way to go about it. Shame Roswell can't join us, though. Understandable, given what he went through, though. I can only imagine how rough he must feel. Still, we'll make it up to him soon. We haven't been here a week yet, and we've got the rest of the month to go. Well, I know left to go get dinner, and I was left with the choice of who to sit next to. I wandered over close to Dean and pushed him down to the closest beanbag he was lingering near. Whoa! As Dean sat down in his assigned seat, he held his arms as if he expected me to just sit down on his lap. Rather than buy into it, I just sat down in the bag next to him. So, dinner and a movie, huh? Well, does this count as a date? I mean, I mean, it might as well be. It's the closest we've ever gotten. Granted, it's, uh, I guess, a date for all of us. Also depends on what movie we've got going on. Yeah, no kidding. Don't know what we're going to watch, but I hope it's something... Well, really anything not sappy. Oh, yeah? I thought a Casanova like you would be all about those mushy romance films. Ugh, oh, hell no. Well, give me a good comedy any day for sure, but... But? Well, it depends on who I'm with, I suppose. We talked among ourselves a little while long for Orlando show back up, trying to balance too many plates at once. Oz jumped up and helped him out, and two of them made another trip back down to get the rest of them. Jeez, Orlando didn't hold back when making pizza, did he? 
I may have made a little too much. But that just means leftovers. Who doesn't like leftover pizza? He had a point. This also means he didn't have to be in the kitchen fixing his food all day every day if he didn't want to. True. All right, all we need now is the movie, right? Why don't you pick? You're trusting me to pick? Why not? I think you've got some idea of what people might like. I'm just happy to sit down and hang out with my friends. Plus Tyson? Well, yeah, but I'm willing to try. Still, I'm going to take, just take some pizza and wait for the movie to start. Make it a good one. So, I think we watched the comedy last time. I know horror will spook Orlando. Dean doesn't like romance. And let's go with some action. I figured something that was flashy was a safe bet. Plus, generally, the eye candy was bound to be pleasing to some of us. At least I thought so. Sal started leaning forward about midway through from what I could tell, getting really into it. Everyone else seemed to like it. It was hard to tell. The effects were good, though. When everything was said and done... Well, that was movie night. Well, not bad, not bad. Well, I'd be up for doing it again, for sure. Hmm. Group activities. This feels like a vacation now. Yeah, I'd be down for hanging out again. That wasn't so bad. You weren't that bad either. I was impressed. Maybe the things I was hearing about you were wrong. I decided not to point out that people didn't typically talk during movies, but they weren't fighting, so it was fine. As long as it's shit like this, I'm down. We lingered around for a bit before a few of us turned in for the night. Hey, Roswell? I figured despite him not being able to come get pizza himself, I'd bring him a couple of slices. At least that way I can make sure he was eating. Oh, hey Dave. You alright? I'm okay, just tired. Hurts a little bit in the chest, but I'll be okay come morning, I think. You sure? Do you need medicine? Oh no, uh, Benson brought some around. I don't really know what they are, but they're helping. Well, as long as it's helping. If it gets worse, though, we're going to need to get you to a doctor before you get really sick. Well, we could always rig an IV drip of orange juice as something to tide me over. It was good seeing him more chipper than when I left him. The rest must have been doing him some good. Here, I brought you some pizza. Orlando made it. Oh, I wondered what I was smelling. Well, I've added some crackers and water. This has picked my appetite back up, though. I watched Roswell ch chow down, almost if he hadn't eaten in a week. Whoa, I've forgotten you hadn't eaten since yesterday. I, uh, I don't mean anything of it, just surprising. Oh, sorry, it did taste really good, though. Did you want more? Is uh, that okay? Oh, sure, there's heaps. Did you want me to go get it, or...? Oh, um, uh, no, that's okay, I can get it. How about we go get it together and maybe get you some fresh air before you head back to bed? Okay. After getting Roswell sorted with leftovers from the kitchen... Well, I was wondering why you backed out of the hot tub. Well, yeah, it didn't seem fair he spends the whole evening by himself in his bedroom. Oh, I agree. Feeling any better, Roswell? Uh, oh, yeah, I think so. Once I get some sleep tonight, I think I'll be good in the morning. Fingers crossed, at least. Otherwise, we might have to put you in the hot tub to try and burn off what's ever gotten to you. Well, I can confirm it's a great feeling. To be honest, if you guys hadn't shown up, I probably would have stayed in there for too long. Or maybe I'll jump in tomorrow. <sighs> No, I'm just tired. Well, probably time I turn in as well. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow after all. So, bedtime? Oh, bedtime. You guys have a good night. I'm just going to shower here and head on up later. Dave, you take care of Roswell, yeah? You got it. I took Roswell back to his room and he's out of it the moment his head hit the pillow. Ugh, I'm beat. Hmm? Something felt off about the room. Like someone had been in here, and it wasn't the first time. That's when I noticed something on the bed. It was a note, folded and hastily scrawled. I know what you did. F what? Who... Who was this from? What did I do? I looked around the room and wondered if I was being pranked, or if someone else was somehow watching me through some hidden camera. What had I done? Was he talking about the gun? But what happened with Roswell? It seemed needlessly threatening, but it wasn't signed. I pulled out my phone and checked the time. It was surprisingly late after making sure Roswell was fine. 
I told myself I'd shower in the morning. I just wanted to sleep. But it wasn't a peaceful one. There we go. Day five for Roswell is done. Uh, next video I'll pick up uh, is day six. And if you want to start thinking about it, the next video will have the poll as who's going to be the third route of the videos. So you can uh, think about it and uh, vote. Then for who you want to see of the other guys. Until then, bye for now.